Hello everybody and welcome to some Minecraft. I've recently started to get back into Minecraft so I decided to kind of check out some of the old worlds that I have uh, here before I start jumping in and maybe doing a let's play of 1.14.4. Uh, it's been a while since I've played. Uh, this here is one of the more recent of my old save files. It is a 1.8 which I guess would be 1.08 now. Uh, world just jumped into this really quickly so it has uh, loaded this now as a 1.14.4 map uh, but I thought I would do a bit of a uh, tour around the world that I made ages and ages ago uh, this thing here uh, shows you that I'm not all that much of a builder this is my starter base I never really moved on from doing a starter base and it was just a hollowed out cave that I uh, set myself up in and as you can see I got pretty decently far into this so we have a brewing station in here what's in our little chest here okay so we've got some brewing equipment and loads of water bottles also my inventory looks like i may have been doing villager trading i guess that must have been a thing in 1.14.4 i actually uh, sorry 1.14 Eight. Yeah, <laughs> it was a while ago, so I actually don't know when villagers were introduced. And then we've got a bunch of enchanted books and a full-on enchanting station, which is good. Um, a decent storage system with markers. I'm assuming enderpearls means, aha, that is my valuables chest. Nice. Also, there are jack-o'-lanterns in there. I do not remember ever using jack-o'-lanterns to light things up. As you can see, there is kind of torch spam all over here. Uh, so I usually use that. Um, so we've got a bit of a furnace array here, and then we've got a mystery tunnel. Okay, some nether warts, which I guess is for potion brewing, and I'm hearing chickens, which I think can only mean one thing. Aha, uh -huh. yup, Exumavoid's cooked chicken uh, farm, which I'm not sure if it's actually still working or not. I really don't know if having the, the lava out full time actually works anymore. In the old versions of this, or in this version, or in the 1.8 version of this, having the lava out the full time was fine. You wouldn't actually have any loss because the uh, chicken would die and drop items at its feet, which would then get picked up by the hoppers and everything would just work. I don't know if that's still the case. This could actually be fully broken. Anyway, I think that's most of what's in this base in terms of the inside. I do remember there is some stuff outside, which we can just kind of see some hints of up there. But also, I'm pretty sure, yeah. So here you go. This is the kind of rest of the cave system. And as you can see, I've just like lit up a whole cave system down here. Oh, let's go down the ladder. Yeah, so there's a full-on cave system down here that I've lit up, which I would have been using to do my mining. Um, oh yeah, and it seems to go even further down, because of course, you wouldn't be mining at this level, you'd be mining down at the diamond level, uh, which I'm guessing is where that other ladder goes. But we don't need to do a look down there, because I'm assuming that's literally just a strip mine, and uh, you guys would have seen that. Of course, it wouldn't be a uh, full-on strip mine, because this was before beacons I think from memory um, so yeah it would have been a kind of exumavoid style uh, pokey hole mine which is where you mine down one row of blocks and as you get further up you kind of poke holes in the sides uh, so you can check for diamonds. I was very into watching exumavoid uh, back in the day and I have just started again recently actually uh, with the starting up of playing Minecraft again. So here is a manual farm with the old carpet on a fence post trick which allows you to jump up into your farm but also allows nothing else to get into it which is pretty cool. Uh, zombie pigman which has obviously come from the portal over there. Uh, oh yeah okay so there are definitely villagers in this because this is a villager breeder or an old school villager breeder. This is the multiple multiple doors villager breeder and okay looks like we've got a villager trading hall over there of some form. Some forms of automatic farms. Is that another chicken breeder? And then that up there which I'm assuming is a mob farm. Um, yeah, okay, so here you go. This is an old school villager breeder. This is how this used to work. You would literally create a pseudo village with all of the doors behind them, and then they would breed until there was enough villagers in here, and they had carrots in underneath them so that they could just feed themselves continuously, which 
I'm pretty sure this one doesn't work anymore. Also, this was a manual setup. So uh, basically there is a stack of blocks in under here and you would manually push a villager into this waiting pen, just there. So you'd undo these two blocks, push a villager into there and then break them out and uh, use water streams, I think, from memory, because the boats back in 1.8 were not two passenger boats like they are now, and they're also really, really hard to control. So you'd use water streams to get the villager into this trading hole, and then, of course, you would um, put them into a little trading cell here. And this seems to have worked. These villagers seem to have updated to 1.14, which has worked pretty well. And we've still got some of the things in here uh, that we have. Oh wow, actually we've got a pretty good pickaxe here too, which I'm assuming would have come from this guy with efficiency two, considering it's got efficiency five. So I'd assume I bought a bunch of these and then um, mixed them together with that, uh, to, or with a um, anvil to make that. And we've got some good weapons and stuff as well. So we've got a decent uh, villager trading hall going on, obviously. Uh, it's not optimized for 1.14, so there's a bunch of stuff in there that uh, doesn't really make any much sense anymore. Okay, so this looks to be some form of farm with an auto bone meal setup. Oh, and that's where we've had our emeralds from our villager trades. Obviously, we were doing loads of trades with those villagers to get that much uh, emeralds. All right, so let's just give this thing a... Whoa! Okay, <laughs> I do not remember building this, but this is an old school kind of AFK farm, I guess, because you can literally just stand here with the right click button down and it is giving a bunch of wheat. Uh, so that's cool. And of course it is auto feeding into both of the dispensers or both of the dispenser sets here. Um, I'm not sure if this was my design or if I took this from someone else. I do remember building or attempting to build a design that was similar to this, but rather than using a piston to push the farm limb up and down, using a water stream to kill things off. Also, then we've got a melon and pumpkin tower that's possibly just pumpkins. Let's take a look in the chest down the bottom. Yeah, that looks to be just pumpkins. And then this thing, which is a sugarcane farm. Aha, but it is, yeah. So this is hooked up to the melon and pumpkin tower. So if we get... Uh, some sugar cane in here and aim it at the piston yeah there you go so we did a basically a randomizer that set off the melon and pumpkin farm or the pumpkin farm when sugar cane grew so uh the sugar cane is not going to be a, a really fast farm but it's going to activate the pumpkin farm anyway i think i'm going to quickly do a cut and go sleep in a bed Okay, so the sun is back up, and I've also just found this, which looks to be some form of manual snow farm, but the snow golem that was supposed to be in there has gone missing. Um, yeah, interesting, considering that we are right next to an ice spikes biome. I don't know why I decided to build a manual snow farm like that uh, when, yeah. There's literally just tons of it right over there. Um, so, the only final farm we have is this little guy, which I think is another chicken farm. Um, and then, actually, oh yeah, that would be a suffocation farm. So rather than cooking the chicken, this would just suffocate the chickens and give us, yeah, raw chicken, which we can then trade with villagers, which is probably where I got a lot of those emeralds from. Both of these two farms together would give us uh, plenty of things to trade with the villagers. Now, there is a mob farm all the way up there which of course is uh, not the way you're supposed to do that these days people have looked into the game code and found that building mob farms uh, down really close to the bottom of the world is the best way you get better spawn rates but also this thing is probably broken anyway because it uses the 1.8 mechanics which I'm pretty sure relied on water streams and mobs pathfinding over top of trapdoors but the way we get up there is actually through the nether so we can climb I'm up the ladder but that's just ridiculous we're not gonna do that um, so we're gonna jump into here because I can see the outline of a portal up there so we're gonna try this wait okay so we go up from here I'm pretty sure and we should get to a point where we get the other nether portal 
somewhere up here. Um, all right. And, oh, okay, no, this is the top. Oh, actually, I think I remember how this works now. Um, also, so this is the top of the nether. This was using the old school exploit where you can plant trees near the top of the nether and you can break the bedrock and then you can make your way to the top of the nether where you can build all sorts of cool farms up here. But I obviously never got around to building any farms up there. Once again, not really sure if that exploit is still in the game. It's been a, a while since I've looked into some of the mechanics of this stuff. Also, considering that we're so close to the top of the world, I have a feeling that these nether portals uh, are like cross-linked, and it may have actually been the case that they were like that all the time, or maybe updating to 1.14 has done that. So yeah, we are now not on the ground anymore, we are in my mob farm. Um, so this is a, an interesting build, I'm not really sure what I was thinking, doing the old polished granite. Um, so here we've got a mob farm, we've got, oh, <laughs> lots of gunpowder and arrows, a bunch of just random armor and bows and things. We've got a random chest, which, ah, oh, yeah, that's our collection chest. So it looks like this slab we've also got, we'll have in behind there is another hopper and then this hopper that feeds into here. We've got the mob ender. Is there any enchantments on that? No, it's literally just a bone. Um, so I'm assuming that this is set up so that there is one hit. Yeah, there you go. One hit uh, left in the mobs, which gives you XP and then also gives you items. But it does mean that it's a manual farm and it can't be AFK'd at, which is interesting. Uh, so we're going to leave the mob under there. And oh, we've got a bunch of swords here up here as well. But we seem to have a much, much better sword uh, in our inventory. So... Okay, and then I've also seemed to uh, like the idea of spamming these uh, clocks around the place. So I'm assuming so that I know what time it is before going in and out of the nether. All right, now let's take a look at the nether and see if we can find our way back to another nether portal. Because I'm pretty sure that there's another one down somewhere. Yeah, so you see this kind of looks... I mean, it's not a good staircase, but it's the type of thing that I used to build in terms of staircases. Um, yeah, I, I was not a fan of actually using the stairs block. I was a fan of just like building actual like step down blocks like that, like this, just with no stairs in them at all. I'm just doing the jumping myself. Um, okay, so it looks like there's a couple of things going on around here. So that should be the portal back to the base area. There's another portal over there. There seems to be paths crossing the lava lake. And, aha, oh, there is actual stairs this time around. That is very interesting. Um, so this looks like a long pathway. Let's see what is at the end of this. And around three more corners, we find another nether portal. So let's go on through here and see what's on the other side. Because, I, yeah, I didn't really use the nether as another tunnel all that much. Ah, haha, <laughs> this is where we got our villagers from. So here you go, this is an old school 1.8 village. Uh, complete with old blacksmiths and... Yeah, interesting. I wonder if the villagers that live here have been updated as well to 1.14. Because obviously the villagers in my trading hall are updated to 1.14. Oh wow, that's a bit of a drop off. Let's uh, let's go down this way so we don't take full damage. Um, I thought I heard a villager around here. He looks like he's a normie villager. Yeah, look at him. He doesn't seem to have a profession or anything. So maybe these villagers didn't get updated. That's kind of weird. It's odd that some of them did and some of them didn't. Anyway, I'm going to head back into the nether and we'll have a look at the other stuff that was in the nether what we've got over this way. Also, interestingly, I've just kind of cobblestoned over top of the soul sand so I didn't have to deal with it. Ah, uh, that's why we've got a, uh, a nice dirt track over top of our lava lake. There is a nether fortress right there. So that looks like we have been trying to deal with all of that type of stuff. So yeah, we definitely got pretty far into the game uh, in terms of the actual things you can do. Obviously, I didn't get very far in terms of... Uh, building nice buildings or any mega bases or anything like that. Aha! Uh -huh. 
this is a fortress. Not fortress, yes, fortress? Anyway, the thing where the end portals are. Um, so, obviously, I was gearing myself up to go there, because I don't think I've ever actually killed the end dragon. Um, I haven't ever made it that far in Minecraft, but it's definitely one of those things that I do want to get back in and do. And if I do a Let's Play series, it will be something I'll be aiming to do very, very quickly into the series. I don't think there's any point going into the nether fortresses. Oh, stronghold. That was the word I was looking for before. Um, as you can tell, it's been a little while since I've gone through and really played uh, any Minecraft in any real capacity. I've been doing a little bit of fiddling on 1.14 and just kind of sussing some stuff out and seeing how some of the stuff works, but haven't really uh, played seriously for quite a while. Aha! That's where our jack-o'-lanterns are. I knew, yeah, they, there you go. I saw them in the chest earlier and I was like, I didn't think I'd ever use them, but there you go. Apparently I have. Uh, so I think that concludes this tour. I don't think there's anything else really around here that I have uh, built or made up in this Minecraft 1.8 world. Um, it is a very interesting little world. Things are just kind of sporadic and built out. I was definitely more of a let's build farms than let's build buildings type Minecrafter. Um, yeah, I think that's something that I want to change. I'm pretty sure I can't build all that well, especially considering that there are some amazing builders here on YouTube. But that is one of the things that I want to be better at. Uh, and once again, if I do decide to actually make a proper Minecraft Let's Play series, then it is one of those things that I will definitely be doing, is teaching myself to build well and kind of taking you guys along on that journey with me. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for this video. There's nothing else really to see in this world. It has been interesting and it's kind of actually jogged my memory of this place just a little bit. Uh, it's still not perfect, but uh, yeah, it's definitely a, an interesting place. And yeah, some stuff in here to avoid doing uh, if I do decide to do a Let's Play series. And of course, some stuff to do. The uh, villager trading is a great idea, and we definitely will be doing that again. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that one, and I will see you in the next video.